Um, so the best screening test is a hemoglobin electrophoresis. This is a test where they look at the different types of hemoglobin in the bloodstream. They can actually quantify the amount of sickled uh, red blood cells. Um, there's another screening test that uh, used to be used called a sickle solubility test, but that test just tells you the presence of sickle cells or not. Um, the reason why it's not the best test is because if you had sickle cell trait, that test could be positive. We may not necessarily have sickle cell disease. So the best test would be a hemoglobin electrophoresis. Another uh, screening test, um, well, actually there are several screening tests really look for uh, complications that happen in sickle cell disease patients. Um, so in, uh, in children, there's a transcranial Doppler, which is done to look at the blood vessels in the brain and to look for basically signs that the patient is at risk for a stroke. Um, in adults, um, more recently, they did approve um, uh, doing a one-time MRI to screen for stroke uh, in adult patients. Um, and then other screening tests um, uh, using uh, microalbumin in the urine to look for signs of kidney disease. Um, and then also uh, all patients should see an ophthalmologist um, for them to do a dilated eye exam to screen for retinopathy. Um, so doing these uh, types of testing, basically it can help diagnose uh, complications and treat them before they become severe.